Hi everybody, hope you are all home safe and healthy. I'm gonna jump right into it because that's probably take 52, um, so hopefully no more interruptions. Um, so there's no surprise that my project is based on technology and emotions and where throughout human existence, our socio-emotional bonds have been forged by technology through art. Our societies are shaped by our identities, emotions, ideas, and technological advancements. Now we can see that all the way going back into prehistoric times where um, cave paintings began to flourish in you know minute areas of the world and with smaller societies beginning to develop where the need for tools and to document those tools and what is going on in their world has you know begun also a sense of identity where you see you know cave paintings and handprints on the walls. It's a, it's a sense of I'm here, I'm one person amongst you know others. We can then look at to the advancement of technology in ancient Egypt, where scriptures were being produced in ways to um, help societies grow and flourish and by means of um, documenting ways of treatment and fixing uh, broken bones all the way to, you know, 1982, where he, as humans evolved, rational thought developed and was reinforced by the culture of advanced technologies, which then led way for conceptual art. And when you look at Bala's artwork here, it's a reflection of the steam engine and when it was created and how it's affecting society during that time. We can look at modern artwork now and where, um, Artists today are using VR headsets to create this three-dimensional world of paintings and artwork, which is reflective of the world around them. Um, I'm going to jump back onto um, ancient Egypt, where I came across this quote, a broken femur that has healed its evidence that someone has taken time to stay with the one who fell has bound up the wound, has carried the person to safety, and has tended the person through recovery. Helping someone else through difficulty is where civilization starts. That's by anthropologist Margaret Mead. Now, how is this in relationship to ourselves now? How can art and technology help heal a society? Well, first by acknowledging the self. Um, in relationship to our own experiences and emotions critically and applying that understanding of self we become empathetic towards others and gain a greener greater understanding um, of our highly connected world so i'm going to play you um, a quick video in relationship to my project Okay, so that was at the Mori Building Digital Art Museum in Tokyo, Japan, um, and where technology is advancing our um, way of being immersed into these visual digital worlds in the sense of um, museums and galleries and how it emotionally ties to our well-being and how we actually feel when we are immersed in these worlds which then i'm going to um, jump into um, my mind map of where technology and emotions how we can evolve our emotional intelligence through art now going back to um, my sign semiotics um, and symbols and artwork. Now this concept of um, 
this project is to develop a healthy emotional self through reflection of self-identity using semiotic relationships in digital art. Um, so contact, content perspective, um, looking at our social needs, this is, you know, a must in relationship to um, learning who we are as an individual amongst a society and um, our self-actualization, so our um, growth needs in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, now, who is um, the learners? Well, in mine, it's high school and beyond. Those are my direct audience that I um, mainly teach to. Looking at um, how I'm going to, you know, um, divulge this information is through voice thread for lesson delivery um, to all my students, predominantly high schoolers. I would also like to um, additionally use a VR classroom with integrated um, VR headsets. Uh, learning objectives is develop an awareness of self in relationship to the world around you, understanding the culture and social significance of the digital medium and its relationship to the evolution of art and understanding of semiotics in signs, symbols, and imagery. The assessments, um, I, I would just want them to articulate their artwork. Does it have an emotional content that relates to their ideas and does it reflect their own personal relationship with the world around them and have they brought forth any new ideas and concepts. So I hope that I have hit the target with this um, project. I'm not quite sure, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, and I hope you guys all have a great, um, a great, I don't know, I don't even know what to call this time now. Um, just be mindful of yourselves and how you conduct, you know, your behavior, especially if you have younger um, humans in the world, in the house with you. Take care, guys. Bye.